Hey, good afternoon. Uh, we are October 20th, 2018, uh, in our own backyard um, on a lovely Saturday afternoon. Um, gotten better, some better weather there here in October than we have not only through uh, some of August, but some of, most of September. Uh, so we're going to take advantage of this. We just received this uh, uh, nature hike tent uh, that we found online and purchased. Um, a three-person, three-season tent. Uh, it's kind of got a, a good-sized vestibule on it. Some of the quick reviews that I read on it before we uh, received it were set up. Uh, and it can be a little bit difficult. Um, we will agree that it is a little difficult uh, going off of the um, instructions that were provided uh, from buying the tent. Um, but we did set it up in the house once uh, and it wasn't too bad. A little bit of figuring to go. Um, but once we kind of looked at looked at how the poles had to go through the provided uh, loops and supports um, it's actually not that bad so right now uh, Gail is uh, is putting up the kind of the front pole or the vestibule pole um, through the center of the tent we've already got the other two poles in uh, nothing too serious about putting them in it's just like any other tent that slides through uh, and once it's up we'll, uh, we'll go over that so I'm going to uh, set this up on the tripod and then give her a hand. We'll get... So we've got the poles and stuff lined up, ready to go. We're going to just... Some shouldn't go over the outside. Okay, well, we can go back in. Well, it's just, it's really, really tight.
all come in around my end and of course it's easier on your side. <laughs> Sure. So there it is set up. Um, so basically you got three poles, uh, two that go from front to back, and they go from front corner, cross, up over the top, cross again, and down to the same side corner. Uh, and then the second one does the same thing, up and over, and crosses. And the center pole, up and over the top, we just kind of figured that one out. Uh, seems to be a little bit easier to get into the pegs, otherwise she's uh, smoking tight. Uh, it seems to be working out though. Again, it's a Nature Hike Outdoors is, uh, is the product name of it. Uh, this one is uh, comes from China, uh, so hence why the instructions are a little a little less than desired to figure it out. But now that we've had it up, and this is the second time actually we've put it together, I think is gonna go up quite well. Uh, it's got the vestibule on the front, and two doors either side that folds, folds right out and back, ties up. Uh, so as you can see, there's plenty of room to fit uh, backpacks, boots, Things like that keep them out of the rain. Uh, and then the tent portion. Uh, the tent is actually not a freestanding tent. The the vestibule or the um, the fly is is all freestanding. 
um, and you could actually put the fly up and then pull and put the uh, the tent in it uh, to keep you dry. Um, they just little straps that toggle in and it's toggled in all the way down to the back. We've jumped in this uh, the other night just to kind of have a look because it looked like it was short um, and it is. It, it's supposed to be 200 centimeters in length uh, but that's a pretty short 200 centimeters. Um, if it was pulled right down that it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it actually wants to sit down on the ground like like what you would expect um, it wouldn't be quite as tight but um, I'm, I'm six feet tall so I, I can lay right down and I do touch both ends but that's kind of the same as any other tent what we're hoping for is with that uh, the vestibule being or the and fly being together is that we're not going to notice any moisture or dampness against the tent whatsoever uh, it is quite a bit of space in between the two, um, so I don't think we're going to have issues with condensation and, and feeling like anything is wet. Um, and then you have vent on each end. It's got a little prop on both of them to keep them open. Um, and then you've also got airflow all the way around in the bottom of it. So that's our... Uh, our newest acquisition for for camping. Um, of course, you're not going to probably get a chance to really test it this year, uh, as we're kind of packed our, most of our stuff up. But we'll give it a, we'll give it some try next year for sure. I think it's going to work out very well for us. So again, nature hike. Uh, it doesn't really have, it's got a couple of different names and stuff on it, but uh, you will find it. We found this one on Amazon. Uh, Amazon.ca um, is where we found it through. And for the size of the tent, we probably saved ourselves uh, close to $500 in what we would have seen what we would have seen uh, with other with other manufacturers. Um, one other thing that I should mention that it did come with was actually the the mat or the the uh, under tarp to go underneath it. It all come with it, the whole thing. So we got the poles, the tent, vestibule all tied together. So it's a full full fly on it. Uh, the ground floor or the ground tent. Um, all the poles uh, and it weighed uh, just over seven pounds packaged uh, seven seven pounds nine ounces uh, so it's it's not not really heavy for the size of it so thanks for watching we are uh, Probably going to leave it up for a little bit here and maybe stretch it out and let it air out a little bit in the sunshine. Get rid of the new kind of smell. Um, and then pack it away. If you like what you see, please like us. on uh, And uh, any comments or anything, any questions you got, go ahead and ask. I'll try to answer whatever we can answer. Um, but uh, give us a like. And if you really like us, subscribe to my channel uh, we are just kind of starting up so be nice to have a, a few followers okay thanks for watching